Hello everyone, this is Ali Ergül and today I'll be talking about Pepsi peptides and a plausible mechanism for the peptide bond formation in prebiotic earth. So Pepsi peptides are basically a class of peptides in which at least one of the peptide bonds are replaced with an ester bond. And these Pepsi peptides can be formed from polyester oligomers when these oligomers are subjected to wet dry cycles in the presence of amino acids. So even though it's generally accepted that most of the amino acids were present in prebiotic earth, by which mechanism they could be condensed into polypeptides still remains unknown. As the peptide bond formation is not thermodynamically favorable, especially in aqueous solutions, it requires enzymatic activity. And such enzymatic activity were most likely not present in prebiotic earth. On the other hand, um, ester bond formation can occur spontaneously when necessary monomers, such as hydroxy acid monomers, are subjected to wet dry cycles. And in this case, Debs peptide formation can provide a plausible reaction mechanism for the peptide bond formation without the presence of enzymes. So, Debs peptide formation occurs through a reaction mechanism called nucleophilic substitution. Here in this example on the left, we have our ester bond in the polyester molecule. And on the right, we have our amino acid. The amino group of the amino acid attacks the ester bond and disrupt it, disrupts it and eventually replaces it. And what we get is a peptide bond. The, in the wet dry cycles, the evaporation of the solvent promotes the ester bond formation and the ester amide bond exchange occurs during the dry phase. And during the wet phase, ester bonds are hydrolyzed. And when these cycles are repeated, what we get is an elongating depth peptide chain with continuous peptide bonds within it. But how do we know that such chemicals required for depth peptide formation were present in prebiotic earth? So um, ester bond forming chemicals such as hydroxy acids and uh, amino acids were found together in the experimental setups resembling the environments of early earth. And they were also found together in meteorites that were delivered to earth from outer space. And we also need uh, suitable environments for such reactions to take place and tidal pools can be considered as suitable environments as they provide mild temperatures, they provide uh, wet dry cycles, and as they can cons they can act as, as um, natural barriers because we do not want other invasive chemicals to disrupt the reactions. Uh, this was all from me. Thank you for listening.